Let me go here. Let me go here. It's our last day here on Gemi. It's off to a great start. We've just spotted a few rock ptarmigan up in the slopes, exactly where I went looking for them yesterday when I ascended the peak. Hopefully, we might get lucky and get some images of them. We've just spotted the first Lamagaya of today, or the bearded vulture of today, and uh, it's really, really far away and really high up. Uh, so no image opportunities, but it's a great sighting nonetheless. I'll see if I can show you. There it is. That tiny little dot is the Lamagaya. But the we've lost the ptarmigan. They've kind of just disappeared but we're, we're searching for them and hoping to find them again. No suggest so far, but we won't give up. We returned back down to the, the cliffside here and uh, for about an hour really nothing happened but then typically enough everything happened in a really short time span so suddenly there were all these uh, snow finches all hopping about giving us some real entertainment and then uh, while we were photographing the snow finches uh, one of the photographers exclaimed a golden eagle. It was really far away, but then it slowly and surely came closer and closer until it utilized the uh, this uh, cliff face right behind me here for the thermals and came really close about 40 meters away and uh, I think I got some quite nice shots especially Lamagaya! Lamagaya! Guys there's a Lamagaya! As I was just saying, everything just happened so quickly and unexpectedly. And just as I was filming that clip that you just saw, a, a bearded vulture appeared like 60 meters away from me and just easily and majestically just glided up right in front of me. And it was against this whole cliff face, so it would have been an amazing shot, but unfortunately it gained height really, really quickly and, and now it's... Uh, somewhere far over that uh, that cliffside so but <laughs> again really cool to see up close and uh, such majestic birds so just observing them in flight is really amazing we were just packing down everything and getting ready to leave uh, with our gondola but then out of the blue another lamago appeared and uh, came uh, relatively close and uh, we captured him against the beautiful mountains behind me uh, which was really great, uh, but thanks to the bearded vulture, we missed our gondola. So now we have to wait another half hour for the next one. But all in all, I think we were more lucky than unlucky. As is often the case in wildlife photography, the nature of this photo shoot was rather chaotic and unexpected. But now, sit back and enjoy a little mix of footage and images of the golden eagle and the bearded vultures.
We've just arrived at the bottom here in Loikabad and we looked up and behind that gondola somewhere is both a golden eagle and a lamagaya. So we just missed out on uh, on those two, but uh, oh well, we got we got lots of other images. So uh, although we might have missed this one, I think uh, in total we were rather lucky with uh, with our encounters. So it was really worth waiting all day for those few brief moments. We now moved locations and we've gone down much further into the valley here and so there's no snow around is firstly it's an amazing looking spot you have this this really cool ravine behind me here and a river that's going that's flowing at the bottom uh, and there's this really cool old bridge uh, that goes over now the reason why we've come here is to photograph a rather small <laughs> but really cool looking bird known as the wall creeper and this wall creeper is mostly grey but when it spreads its wings it has these really cool red feathers that contrast nicely to the to the grey surroundings where it lives and it also has this really striking flight pattern I've never actually seen it before but uh, I've seen images and videos of it and it looks really really cool so now we're just standing here and uh, with binoculars we are scanning the the cliff sides and uh, searching for this this little bird We have just seen one uh, really far down below into the valley here, into the ravine. Uh, really well spotted by Matos. Uh, it wasn't even moving that much, so it's just a tiny light spot on the wall. So that's actually pretty incredible that he managed to spot this one. Matos got a really nice video of the wall creeper in flight so I'd like to show you in flight it really looks like a butterfly uh, not only because of the colourful wings but also because of its flight pattern so it's really fascinating to watch him make his way up this wall and now he's gone a little further into the ravine uh, so we can't see him currently but it was such a cool experience to see him just foraging up the wall and he's moving so so effortlessly so it's a great new species to take off the list. Now it's getting darker by the minute, so we're packing down and leaving this wonderful place, which is the home of the wall creeper.